I'd like to talk a little bit about language. Absolutely. And this one to Mike Smith. What did the two of you mean when you referred to a piece of tasty brisket? That referred to a piece of information Mike uncovered working on a documentary for the Germans. A piece of information against the president? I think specifically it referred to Bush losing his nerve while flying. Which you did not mention in the report you aired on 60 Minutes. I didn't think we had it nailed down. Hmm. Would it be accurate to say you were looking for anything negative about the president? I'd say it was accurate that we were looking for any information on his time in the Air National Guard that had not yet come to light. And that's what made it tasty, not because it reflected poorly on the president. It was tasty because it had the potential to be newsworthy. Hmm. I also wanted to ask you about this email from Roger Charles, where he says he feels better about the documents mm -hmm. because of their formatting. Colonel Charles originally thought the documents were fake? I don't believe so. Then, then, then why would he say he feels better? Because it seemed that what our source was telling us was true. I have to disagree. Even the subject line in the email is, I feel better, um, with the uh, three exclamation points. It seems Colonel Charles initially had doubts. It's kind of crazy, Who is but... it, A short, fat lady says she used to live here. I'm pregnant. What do you want? Oh, sorry, I was just telling your wife that We're I... We're life uh... partners. Life partners. Cool. Um, I was just saying that I left something here. No. There was nothing left here. Actually, it's the basement door, and I just wondered if I could get it back. How can you leave a door that makes no sense? <sighs> right? I know, but it just... It has sentimental value, and... I really want it back. I should have put it in the contract. The door belongs to us now. I get that, but um, I can't explain this to you. But that door is really, really important. And I can pay you. You need to go away now. You're upsetting my life partner. Do you want me to call the police? Huh? I'm quite prepared to do that. Oh, Hi. Sorry. Morning. I'm oh, sick. I had that dream again. Which one? The one where you're, you know. Oh, changing your nappy. Yeah. That's that's not gonna happen. You don't know that. Could be three of us in nappies. Ziggy Junior, the baby, and me. Where are you going? I'm just going. Yeah, actually, you know what? I gotta get up. I gotta. Yeah. I should. Yeah, I should definitely, definitely have an early start. Really? I was thinking that we could. After last night? Yeah. You, you, you want again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to. Be awesome. But uh, I have an 815 meeting. I, I totally forgot. Is that Ziggy crying? No. It's all right. I can wait till tonight. What time are you home? Late. I have a drinks function. Look, mate. Things are pretty dire in case you hadn't noticed. The caucus has shattered. People are talking about walking if you're still here next year. And every single financial forecaster is saying we're diving headfirst into the most deadly recession in 60 years. And you're ignoring everyone. No one can get through to you. You're the fucking treasurer! You are such a long way from being ready to do this job that I tell you what, mate, our pact is seriously in doubt. You will pick a date. And you will stand down. Or I promise you, I won't be here another second plugging up your mistakes in this ass into the world. What did you just say? What did you just say? Is that what you think of the country you hope to run? This is bullshit. I just want one thing from you. To keep your word. That's it. Because if you stay in this town, you're a dead man. Ah. Now I've got a reputation here too, you know, and it ain't helped by having your fair face around, reminding people of stuff they rather forget. You understand me?
powering up this epic slip. Back talk. And it dodges from some they're boulders. They're just boulders. Boom. All I've done is shot the truth. What the car can actually do, OK? It's ridiculous. I could be in Iceland making a meaningful documentary. <laughs>